Welcome to Melbourne, where the practice session is about to start for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their worth. So, Anthony, lots to do, of course, in these sessions, lots of programs to run. What are you looking for when you jump in the car for free practice? Well, you have basic checks, first of all. You know, is the car working correctly? What the track conditions like? And you'll be chasing that as the session goes on. Things like that. Then you start getting into the nitty gritty of it all. And they become more like test sessions where it's all about gathering new data, testing components, tweaking the setup and so on. So there's only so much actual practice that these drivers need. Most of them will be plenty familiar enough with the track layout, either from previous experience or from the simulator. lap so far is a 1 minute 27.0. cars are now over the line your top three again are Raikkonen, Hamilton and Sergio Perez. That concludes an interesting practice session. Let's hope for more excitement as the weekend unfolds. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. 
And as we count down to that green light, I have to say, Anthony Davidson, that this rain is not showing any signs whatsoever of abating. I imagine we'll be looking at some last minute setup changes to better adapt these cars to the conditions. What do you think? The trouble is, Crofty, they need to be thinking about the race tomorrow. You don't want to go jacking up the ride heights and piling on a few points of extra downforce that you're not going to want in the Grand Prix itself. The Parc Ferme regulations mean that you have to make that choice. The best thing the drivers can do is adapt with the tools they have available in the cockpit. Moving the brake bias forward will help stop the rear end slipping out under braking, and opening up the differential can really help tame the oversteer on corner exit. The drivers that can make best use of these techniques will have the best chance for success here today. set then for the race tomorrow but before we go let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three who are Raikkonen, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow so make sure you join us then.
first. Thank you. 